Well, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Tractors and Such. Um. Oh, boy. Well, I got me a Farmall F20 here. It's a 1937. It used to be the in Harry Lee's collection. As I was told from the last owner that had it. It's got a hydraulic pump on here. You have to have your PTO on for it to work because it's got some lines here you can run for whatever. This is your PTO. It's got some hand brakes here. Let me go on the other side. It's got a hand brake and you also got foot brakes, which I thought's pretty neat for this uh, tractor this age. It's got a Magneto, uh, International Harvester Company, Magneto. Well, I think it's an F4, and it's been converted to the variable speed governor. So, that's good. And, uh, it's missing the timing rod that runs from here to the mag, but I can control it right here. And uh, here's your fan. It's also a belt tensioner. It's got a leather belt on it. It don't have no battery whatsoever. You have to hand crank start this thing. It does run. But. I think there's something in with the fuel system. Because. At the guy's place. Uh, he uh, put some starting fluid in it. And he'll run it off starting fluid. So. Yeah. So. Uh, and here's the hand crank. I just got it in here. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this. What I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna first uh, disconnect this fuel line right here and see if I'm getting any flow from the settling bulb to the carb. Okay, so I've done check this line. It's not clogged. So I'm thinking the carburetor might be all right. As Cade should not have been thinking that. This is foreshadowing. So, but I'm not getting any gas to come out of settling bulb. Or, you got a, you got an inner and an outer tank. Alright, so I think we figure out an issue. The sediment bulb was plugged, so I took that out. I, it had old gas in it. And, uh, And it was clogged and the lines free I think I said that earlier so now I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to start it I'm going to do a little help
mouth, get a mouthful for this guy, that's for sure. Was that fun? <laughs> Alright, come on, close me back. Alright. Well, it runs. It, I'll have to get it to run better, but it runs at least. Uh, it's, it's flooding to death, but I can rebuild that carburetor. That's what's causing it to be rich and all. And uh, the clutch was stuck, but we got it freed. But you still, it's still little, but I think it'll work itself loose the more you drive it. And uh, I'm gonna have to get a new sediment bulb. And uh, I'm gonna have to uh, go through the fuel tank. It's most likely it's going to get it's going to probably have to get resealed and everything. I would like to I would like to use both sections for all the capacity reasons. And uh, yeah, so overall, I like this tractor. It's unique in its way. And I like it. So, thank you all for watching this video of tractors and such. Please consider it a like, and please also subscribe. And now, we'll go with Paul with the devotion. Devotion today is found in Genesis chapter 9, beginning at verse 18. Genesis chapter 9, beginning at verse 18, the word of God says, And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is with the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. Of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a, a husband, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and was drunk, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Sham and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his, from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done to him. And he said, Cursed be Cain, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brother. And he said, Blessed be the Lord of Sham, and Canaan shall be his servant. And God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in tents of Sham, and Canaan shall be their servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years. And he died.
Thank you for watching Kate's video today. See you on the next post.